Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are here with one more show uh, that we're doing uh, from a remote location. Uh, and we're using this, uh, this background um, we're back with our next show, um, hopefully Tuesday or Wednesday um, with, the, with the regular background. But we're going to get into Inouye and to Paula's uh, undisputed 118-pound world title. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, by all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight, showing you how to bring down the house um, and make money on every single card. Um, if you, We don't gamble on sports, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing because the odds makers and bookies don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money and bring in that second stream of income. Uh, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. <clears throat> All right, let's get into today's show. Um, in a way, and to Paula's, uh, you know, in a way is a huge, huge favorite. Um, and as well, he should be. He's coming off the Fulton win. A win here, I think, leaves no doubt that he's the fighter of the year. Uh, you know, and obviously, in a way, he's an explosive offensive fighter. He's got that really good power jab that he uses. It's, that's tremendous. Um, he's fairly elusive. He's good defensively. He gets you to shoot your load. Um, he gets you to fire. Um, he works everything behind the jab. He's just a really, really good offensive fighter and good defensive fighter. I think he's the best fighter in the world, pound for pound. Um, he's got excellent footwork. Um, he opens and closes distances at will. Uh, he's really good at maintaining, getting you at long range, or working his way on the inside. Um, like I said, and he, and he can get you to shell up. Um, he, he can make you do. He can make you throw when he wants you to throw. And he can cause you to shell up when he wants you to shell up. Um, he's got amazing ring generalship. Um, he gets you to fight completely on his terms, and then he's obviously got tremendous power. Um, it, excellent timing. You know, everything he throws is hard. He's the best fighter in the world. I mean, I, I, I you guys can argue with Crawford or someone else. I just, this is the best fighter in the world to me. Uh, on top of that, he's got pinpoint accuracy. He lands on the temple. He lands on the chin. He, he lands flush everywhere. Um, and then he picks his spots exceptionally well. I mean, I, it, it, it's so hard. Like, what what do you improve in a guy like in a way? I guess perhaps he's not lightning fast, um, but it's fast enough, right? He's not slow by any means. Um, and Tapala, uh, Tapala is a good fighter, good body puncher. Not 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 a huge volume guy, uh, but he selects his shots well. Um, he's got also a good pop on everything. He sits in and exchanges. And I, I like him. I just think he's there to be hit. And he's got so much more flaws than in a way. In a way, I don't really have any flaws, on either offensively or defensively. There's no major flaws. Uh, you know, Tapalas gets sloppy defensively. He's there to be tagged. Um, you know, he's got an excellent right hook. He has these little uppercuts that he's landing, but he leaves himself open. Um, he's, he's not a, 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 a perfect defensive fighter, but he does have a good chin. So I do expect this thing to go fairly deep in the fight. And I'm going to show you the odds on this. Um, is this a, a tough fight to bet? Because in a way, he's got this explosive power and he gets rid of people quickly. Uh, but like I said, the policy is patient. I don't think he's going to leave himself wide open early to get knocked out. Although I do think he gets caught up in an exchange. Uh, and, and in a way gets him out. So I'm definitely picking in a way to win by stoppage. And we can get to this right now on uh, how to bet this fight. Um, all right. So in a way is minus 1800. Um, it's a reasonable odds. It's, it's obviously top, top dollar. Um, you know, so we're going to put a two times bet on that because in a way it's going to win this fight. And a, a, a $200 bet makes it $11.11. The odds just aren't there for this. Um, but you take the money while you can. I really don't see how in a way it doesn't win. Uh, then this is a tough one. Over, under six and a half, right? I, I'm going to go over. It, it pays minus 105, which means it's basically paying even money. $100 bet makes you 95 23 so between that, those two bets, um, you're looking at one oh, what is that? 
106, 34, and then another one times bet in a way by, by, by KO. You can make about 140 bucks if in a way wins by stoppage after six and a half. Um, the, the over under on this is tough, uh, but there's nowhere else to make money. This is this is a tough fight to bet because the odds are so in, in a way's favor. Um, the spread on this, I think, is ridiculous. Minus 1800 is almost a thousand dollar spread on this. Minus 1800 to plus 850. That spread is way too big. They should bring in a way down to you know, minus 1400. Honestly, I, I think that's fair. Minus 1400. Uh, and, and 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 to Paula's, I think that's that's reasonable. But you know, minus fourteen fifty, minus eighteen hundred is way too wide for in a way. Uh, I don't love these odds. Uh, over under six and a half. I got a feeling this is going to go over. In a way, he's got a, you know, to Paula's is a good chin. Um, you know, he's not over aggressive. He doesn't. You know, especially a star. He picks his shots well, although he is defensively flawed. I do think it goes over six and a half. I think we're looking at a little bit later to knock out than that. But again, this is just a tough, this is a tough fight to bet. Um, if it wasn't such a massive fight, I probably wouldn't touch this. Um, and then in a way by TKO, the Q is again, this is only paying minus 650. Uh, they're telling you that in a way is gonna knock them out, and they're begging you to bet to Paulas. So, you know, if they want you to bet to Paulas. That they want you to bet him for a reason because he's not going to win. Um, so the only question becomes over or under six and a half. I really think that's the only thing that we need to debate. Um, but um, all right, let's let's let's. I mean, that's that. Uh, in a way, I'm going to pull up his box rec real quick. I want to get the exact. I, I'm about to take this down. I just forgot. Uh, His last couple of fights, 8, 11, 2, and 8. So of his last four fights, um, only Donaire, which he got knocked out in second, hasn't gone over six and a half rounds. Um, 8, 11, 2, 8. That's Diapan, Donaire, Paul Butler. Paul Butler won 11, and that's the interesting one. And then Stephen Fulton got knocked out in the 8th. Um, and Tapal is <clears throat> a different fighter. Just want the distance with uh, Akhmedaliev, uh possibly the upset of the year. It's, it's in contention. Uh, he, before that, he fought a, a, a bum. I don't want to say a bum. A tune-up fight named Estrella. Uh, throw that out. But he, before that, he beat Tersha Gawa in two rounds. And uh, he lost to Owasa in 11. So he's kind of all over the place. Um, but I, I don't think he's going to win. I think he's going to lose. Um, you know, he, he's got three losses. He's been knocked out twice, once by Awasa. And uh, he's got a point loss to David Sanchez. And then he was retired all the way back in 2009 by a guy named Bricks Ray in the Philippines. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about, about that. He, again, this is a really, really tough fight to bet. Um, so I, I would say your best bet here is the over. I think in a way by KO and in a way are safe bets. I, I think you're going to make some money there. The only question becomes over or under six and a half. Um, like I said, I think at the higher weight class, I think you're not having a, a reckless fighter uh, who, who's going to run himself into something. I, I think the over makes sense, but this is a tough one. And that's why those odds are so close. I don't love the odds in this, but that's what we got. In a way, by KO. In a way, on the money line, in a way, by KO. And uh, over six and a half rounds. It's going to make you, you know, what is that? 95, 106, 122 on a four dollar bet. Those are the odds we got. I think you're pretty safe here. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the box and book it all on social media. Again, uh, we don't bet. We use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Uh, but if you do, follow the box and book. He's going to show you how to make a second stream of income. Uh, there's always a bull market somewhere. And we're going to show you how to make that money. Uh, it is December 25th. Merry Christmas, y'all. Uh, from Texas to the world. 
Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.